me and uh, one of my friend who uh, happens to be uh, Hispanic um, we stopped by this quick shop you can see behind me and late Friday night actually in um, early Saturday morning and uh, we uh, were taking gas at the time and we stopped for buying some refreshments as we were attending a late night party in my friend's house. While we were taking care of our business at that moment, we came across of a white Caucasian male who was shouting at a towards an African American guy who apparently asked for some gas money from that white male and while we did not pay that much of attention to what was going on in the surroundings um, suddenly we saw that person who was shouting as uh, using all types of racial slurs towards that African American male and then suddenly he turned on to us he was riding a motorcycle and he stopped his motorcycle in front of my car his, and approached my friend who just got out of my car from the passenger side basically he was yelling at my friend calling him a brown trash and was telling him that like you wanna leave in this country you gotta leave this country my friend naturally responded back and saying that like this is my country who the hell are you to tell me to leave well things escalated really quick and uh, while I was overseeing the whole thing like I was just watching and uh, when I saw that they were have having some heated conversations I tried to get in the middle and I was trying to defuse the situation but uh, in vain that didn't work out because that attacker, alleged attacker, started punching my friend's face. He dodged a few punches, but one of the punches got in his face right at, and he was able to take him to the ground. And I tried to restrain the attacker, and also got pushed over and got assaulted. I saw the attacker was reaching to his pocket and I was scared and I stepped back as I thought he would bring up a gun or some sort of weapon and so right away I took out my phone and I called 911 while I was with the dispatch the person kept kicking my friend it was a gut-wrenching scene and that I would never forget in my life I've never felt that much of helpless or I never faced that kind of humiliation in my life however um, while I was with the dispatch on the phone uh, that person was shouting and screaming saying that like chanting like Trump 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 will make America great again, will throw you out of the wall and all those kind of racial slurs that I even I had never heard in my life before when the attacker saw me that I'm trying to call police he approached me and I stepped around another corner of my car and he found the open door of my passenger side of my car and uh, kicked the core um, kick the door and just slam the door to close uh, while the police was taking the statements from us I mentioned that too and also um, he was telling that he is winning Trump is winning and he got back onto his motorcycle and later on he started circling around us while still I was on the phone with the dispatcher.
and he was chanting continuously saying Trump 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 you guys are losers I won we will win we'll make America great again we'll take back the country from you and uh, he left we were still waiting on the police to show up and um, the African-American guy who was initially verbally abused by this alleged attacker he came to us and um, he asked for gas money from us too well we um, declined because we were tormented at the moment and um, he also left and then the police showed up to the spot and the police asked us uh, about the what happened and everything they took uh, the standard procedural testimony from both of us and um, uh, one of the officers asked me like why did I think that it was a hate crime well then I reminded him that any conversation in this country with anyone if that starts with brown trash go home that is not acceptable and definitely there is nothing else to say other than that it was a hate crime it took me a while to figure out like whether I should go public with it However, I'm grateful with the amazing community that I have and the support system that has been provided by my peers and my colleagues and all members of this community. And I thought that this wonderful opportunity has not been given to a lot of people. So I wanted to use this platform to speak up and stand up against the bigotry and the hate that I have faced unfortunately that night. I would like to conclude stating my concerns that in this great nation we talk about the freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of religion, but if we allow this kind of hatred towards each other then we can't make America great again. The America is great when our civil rights are protected not when we get verbally abused because we are different not when we get physically attacked or abused because we are different. So I would call upon to all conscience people to denounce the bigotry and the hatred that I faced that night and my f I would like to request you all to keep my friend in your prayers who so far wanted to be anonymous I hope you would respect my friend's privacy and I hope the law enforcement officials would take this matter seriously and um, my understanding uh, is the city police is already calling it or recognizing it as a hate crime. I would like, like to applaud that initiative and I would like to see because the suspect is still at large and that actually concerns me and I feel concerned about my personal safety and the safety of my colleagues, my peers, people of color, people who are different than regular individuals and my community members. I hope my concerns will be addressed. Thank you all very much for taking the time and being patient to hear from me.